Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel for another paint tutorial in acrylics. Today it's all about the fan brush versus the filbert brush for painting trees. So I'm going to show you start to finish, step by step, how to load each brush and apply the proper brush strokes and techniques to build up a snow covered tree. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the fan brush first on the left side here. And I've got three colors on my palette. I've got Mars Black, Sap Green, and Titanium White. I'm gonna get my fan brush wet, and I'm gonna start simply here just by turning, pulling to load the brush with black. And then I'm gonna take some green. So both of those colors, pull and turn to load your brush with. So when you've got a nice even amount like this, we're going to come over here and we're just going to start tapping in our tree trunk straight up and down. We're going to make a nice big tree here so I can show you a thorough demonstration and lots of tapping. So I want to have lots of room for branches here. Okay, I'm going to load my brush once more. Make a deep, dark forest green here. And I'm gonna start by pushing and tapping lightly on the top with the corner, the left side of my brush. Then I'm gonna start to move to the right, to the left, to the center, push, tap, and then making them bigger. going to reload my brush. I load both sides because that way when you run out of paint on one side, you can flip over to the other side and use that. So see how it gradually gets a little thicker and wider towards the end of the tree. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do Without washing my brush off, I'm going to take some white and I'm going to pull in to that green and black mixture, turning to load. And we're going to add a little brighter tone here, building up to our final highlight of white at the end. And you want a generous amount of paint on your brush, but you don't want big blobs or globs of paint. So you want a nice, thin, even coat. But here's the, the trick. You really want to push and tap. You want to prevent yourself from pulling or tapping too much in one spot. Because when you tap too much in the same spot, it's going to end up being all the same color. So we want that, that separation, that definition. We, we need the dark, darkest base in order to build up to highlights, creating shadows and highlights, making it look like a 3D image. So now that we've got that light pale green, I'm going to rinse my brush out. With a clean brush, I'm going to take white, turn my brush, pull, Okay, and I'm gonna start the same way. I'm just gonna start adding a little bit of white. Depends on how much snow you want on your tree. If you just want it to look a little bit frosty or have a light snow, then you're just gonna add less pressure. And then I'm gonna push a little harder to use the full width of the brush down lower. So here we have a nice snowy looking tree. At any time you can go in. If you really want it to look like it's got a thicker amount of snow, then I always go in like this, kind of cut around, pull and sweep so you have like a decent amount of snow or white paint on the tip of the brush 
to add thicker areas for heavier looking snow covered branches. And you would just keep adding and building on from that if you wanted to add more and more snow or brighter highlights. Just gonna add a little shadow down here and a little bit more of a tree trunk using the corner of my brush. So before I use the filbert brush for the tree, I'm going to show you another style of tree that you can paint also with a fan brush. So start with the same base color, green and black, pull, turn and load. And I'll add another tree trunk here. This time, rather than holding my brush with a handle down, this will determine the shape um, and the direction your branches will be going in. When you hold the brush like this, it will make the branches arched like this and kind of hang down. When you turn the handle up like this, it's different, right? Rather than down like this. So turning the brush handle up like this, we're going to start pushing and tapping side to side. Every time I add up another branch, I'm lifting off in between each and every tap. And then we'll make it a little wider down here at the bottom. And then go in just in the center there to make it a little thicker and denser looking, but see the difference? So this one handle pointing up for the branches facing upward and then for the branches going down on either side, handle pointing down. Now let's go ahead and add a mid-tone just mixing a bit of white in there. And we'll just simply tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna catch the side of this tree trunk. With a clean brush, I'm going to pull into my white and we'll add our final layer of white for our snowy highlights. Okay, so if there's two different types of snow covered trees, you can paint with a fan brush. Okay. Next two trees, like these ones, I'm going to be demonstrating how to paint with the filbert brush. You want to get your brush a little bit wet to start. So just a little bit of water. Catch any drips off on a towel. Then we're going to take the same two colors, black and green, and just pull in a tree trunk, load my brush up again. Now with the filbert brush, I load it a little different than the fan brush. I want to kind of get just the end of the brush more than the rest of the brush, the tip of the brush is what I really want to use. And I'm going to start off with little pushes and taps like this. Look at the difference in how the texture looks in the print. So 
you can see they're both nice to use, but they both make a little bit different type of branch. My personal favorite is the Filbert brush, but it's different for everybody. Some people like the fan brush better. It all depends. It's personal preference, right? But this video hopefully will give you an idea of which one you'd like to use and what you prefer. I also recommend trying both because it's how the brush feels in your hand and what just feels easier for you. Let's take some white now and mix it in with that green and black. And we'll start coming in just with the end of our brush for those little baby branches. And then we're gonna start adding some mid-tone layers in here. So again, you don't wanna cover up all the dark base. You just wanna add a little to it. And I'll just add a little shadow down here. And I'm gonna come in with white. And again, I'm just gonna kind of wiggle in and I'm gonna get quite a bit of white paint on the end of my brush. A little different than how I would load the fan brush. And I'll start just with a little, little bit of the brush on the top. So there we have the same style of tree using two different brushes. So for this one, we use the fan and for this one, we use the filbert. Now we're going to go on to painting this style of tree using the filbert brush. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started loading the brush. Green and black. And we'll start with our tree trunk. I'm gonna turn the handle up, start some little taps at the top. Always crisscrossing them, see that? Tap, tap, then come in crisscross. Once you get really comfortable with painting these, you'll develop kind of like a little rhythm and it's really relaxing and easy to paint and fun. Okay, now we're going to take white, mix that up. And we'll start adding our mid-tone. I could need a little bit more white in here. There we go. Okay, and now we're gonna come in with a clean brush and white, push, wiggle, and get a good amount of white on the end of the brush. Adding a little bit to the top. I'm gonna reload my brush.
Okay, so there you have it. You can decide what brush you'd like to use for your trees or just experiment using both brushes. This just gives you an idea of what they look like and how they work. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial and that you learned a lot and picked up some great little tips from this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!